Hello everybody, this is Liggett One. I'm Rudy. Today we'll try to make a lampshade. Let's see how it goes. Of course we're going to start with Luban. We're going to open up um, Create section where it says Lithophane. Now here you can see I've already got a blank sheet that I was messing with from before. I wanted to do a video on a lampshade that I'd already made previously, which would be this one. This was on a uh, touch type lamp. You touch it, it goes on. Uh, my grandson, granddaughter, turned out really nice. And it's kind of a run of the mill type lampshade, except it has the mounting section on the bottom. And I really wanted to do something different, and I couldn't do it up until a few days ago when Luban updated their uh, software. We'll get to what they did there. Right now we have cylinder. You can also do rectangle, octagon, cone. I mean, there's a few different things that you can do. We're going to stick with cylinder for a simple uh, lampshade. One of the nice things about this program is, let's say we take this picture, the chick, and we can see it goes into the lampshade, and it's lit up as though it would have been lit up, rather than seeing something that looks like this that you would normally see on most uh, lithophane programs. It has a backlight function over here. You can turn it on and get a better idea what it's looking like. Now you can see where it has a uh, break in between two sections of the picture that we loaded in there. And you can kind of get rid of that if you wanted to. Or you can make it larger. One of the neat things about this program is if you wanted to, we could pick two or more different pictures to put on our lithophane as we got right here. So we got the bunnies, we got the little chick for spring, and we could stretch it over here, which narrows the uh, gap between the two pictures. And one of the neat things that uh, just happened with the program with their latest update was before whenever you change the maximum thickness of the lithophane the base would also change the rails the circle the whole bit and I really wanted this to be thin and I couldn't do it but now that they've updated it you can see here we've got base thickness and you can change it here like you can see it's set at 1.5 Let's say I go into here and I make it 3.0 and it thickens up. Now we're back to the 1.5. Socket diameter that's this right here. To do the uh, lampshade that I wanted to do, I did do a partial print of this model just up to about here to see how this would fit the uh, light that I wanted to put it in. If it was too thick, I wouldn't be able to turn the bulb in far enough for it to make contact. And what I wound up doing was doing the 1.5 for the uh, thickness of the base and I believe I ran the diameter of the socket up to 19 just for a little insurance. So it really is nice to be able to change the base and the socket size separate from the uh, lithophane itself. And we really got used to doing a lot of lithophanes with the uh, little battery operated flickering candle behind them. What you, we have to realize here is now that we can put them on an actual lamp, say with an LED bulb in it, it's going to be brighter and we can do a little thicker. 
Here I've got the uh, maximum thickness of 3.5 rather than my usual 3.0. And what that does is give you more of a variance in the thickness to give you a better idea of contrast. You've got more layers in, in which to create that contrast and maybe get a better uh, image out of it. But that's where we're, uh, we have here. And what I wanted this for was to do a lamp shade on a lamp like this. This is one of those Christmas candle lights he put in a window. It just has a regular bulb in it. I put an LED bulb in it and it really does turn out, it really did turn out nice. So we're going to, um, you know, and here's one that would be that little chickadee and the two rabbits. The 4th of July one. And you can, once you've set up and you've got your numbers down pat to where you want everything to be, it's just real simple to throw in a, a picture of any kind and go ahead and save the, either save the model or just do an export of the uh, STL file. And one of the real nice things is a lot of times I'll take my STL files, put them into another program so that I can get an actual JPEG out of it. But with uh, Luban, we don't have to do that. We can just do an export and save it as a JPEG. Even ask you what uh, quality of the JPEG you want you know, related to how much you're going to compress it. So it's pretty nice to be able to do that as well. This, uh, just a simple rundown on doing a simple lithophane shade. And the other thing, I mean, you, you can change this to whatever size you want. Here you can see I've got model diameter of 100. Z at 80 millimeter, but say you want to do it for a larger light, and say your larger light also has the bracket that you need, it has to be on the top. It's not a problem. All we have to do is go, here we can see we've got upright or inverted. Put it inverted, now you can see the top of our lithophane, which was the top, is now aimed at the same side that the uh, bracket is. So if you've got a lamp, say maybe one more conventional that would be in the living room, this area here would have to be a lot smaller. Uh, say possibly 12 millimeters in diameter. And if you're going to make it larger, you know, kind of a small to be on a regular lamp, so you're going to want to thicken up the uh, lamp base. And that's not a problem either. You can go ahead and give it a 5 millimeter thickness. Now you're nice and beefy to give you some strength. And you can go ahead and do a um, 200 millimeter for a diameter and 150 millimeter for the vertical. print it just like this with this down you don't need to use a raft or anything I'm, I have one printing right now it's the uh, the smaller one for the Christmas candle type light print them up print them with the base down uh, you might want to do a brim just for the sake that you know these are usually a long print I think the one I'm doing now is about 10 hours and any edge you can get against uh, having it fall over or fell is good on a long print so you may you know want to do the brim wise but that a lot of it depends on your printers too well I hope this helped out someone um, hopefully I can get back to doing a better one here in the next couple of days been a little under the weather so I know my game's off but I'll get back to it thanks for everything people have a good one and take care